in this video we are going to understand what is a break line in civil trading so in simple terms a break line means a line where the slope breaks so in my screen i have a image or a sketch of a road this is the edge of the road this is the center line of the road and this is the other edge of the road so if you consider about a cross section of this road or a soft section view of this road it will look like this so you have uh, the center line then it will slope downwards either side of the road so if you consider this edge and this edge you know that from this edge you, you have up to this edge from the center line you have a constant slope and up to this side also you have a constant slope after that for the from the outside of the road we don't know what really happens so in here i have uh, four points in this drawing uh, this point have 99.8 elevation this is on the center line of the road it is 100 elevation and this one is at the edge of the road which has an elevation of 100.2 and this point is outside the road which has an elevation of 92 meters uh, which is fairly low elevation than this one because it, it is outside the road so in civil 3d what really happens is when creating surface from points civil 3d create triangles between these points so we will see one method of creating triangles so this is one method of creating triangle one triangle can be formed like this so connecting these three points and connecting these three points so this is one method of connecting the triangles to form a surface the other method is creating these three points and creating these three points so when you consider this option when you have a triangle like this it will cross the edge of the road so if you consider the elevation at this point this one is 92 this one is 100 so if you assume these two lengths are equal this elevation should be something around 96 but if you consider in this way this is the edge of the road it should be a smooth one so this is 99.8 this is 100.2 so this should be around 100 but if the triangles are formed in this way it will give the elevation as 96 so this way is a wrong formation of triangles this is the correct formation of triangles so how to avoid this type of formation of triangles in the surface so th this is where break lines come into play so what we say in civil 3d is we will add this line as a break line so when you add this line or tar edge line or whatever the line which has a uh, identifiable slope break so you can see from this point from this point slope breaks into the natural ground because in between these points we have the natural road surface after that point we have the natural ground so from this point the slope breaks so we have to make sure these triangles are formed along this line we have to ensure this triangles will not cross this line so to avoid crossing the lines between these constant slope lines we add break lines so after adding break lines these type of uh, triangles will not be formed we will be only form this type of triangles so we will see that now in civil 3d software now i have a drawing open here here we have the edge of the road and here we have the center line of the road and here we have the other edge of the road so if you consider these four points currently we have created the surface here so if you consider these four points we have a crossing 
triangle through the break line so as we saw earlier this is wrong also in this location we have a crossing triangle this triangle is also wrong so we will check how this surface looks like now i select the surface and go to object viewer and you can see the surface looks like this you can see there is some kind of a road formation in the middle but it is not that clear right so that is how the surface looks like without brake lines now what i do is i am adding these three lines as brake lines to this surface so when i am adding this just notice what happens to these points because these points these lines are crossing the brake lines or the tar edge line so i am going to add brake lines to surface i go to surface select the drop down of the surface name and go to brake lines right click and go to add so I, am, I have 3D brake lines. We will learn about 3D and 2D brake lines in a later video. So I will give the name as BRKL to represent brake lines. Then I go click OK to add the brake lines. So I will select these three brake lines. And then I am going to press enter. So while I am pressing enter, just see what happens here. Then you can see those lines disappeared. Now the triangles are formed along the line instead of crossing the line. Now the surfaces, the break lines are added to surface. Now we will look how the surface looks like after adding break lines. Now I select the surface and go to object viewer. So now you can see a very clear road in the middle of the surface because we added brake lines so that is the uh, definition or that is the use of brake lines in civil 3d so it will make your surface more accurate that is the uh, basic thing of adding brake lines in civil 3d